Hey guys, today they updated a lot of the interfaces as well as adding in the Haiti Wolf and Skull. I'm not going to talk much about Skull and the Haiti Wolf because I'm sure everyone is making videos about killing them and how to kill them and all that, but I would like to talk about the new interfaces. So a while ago they changed the inventory interface to be sort of a grayish, bluish, sort of more metallic thing, and today they've added that to a lot of the other interfaces most notably the worn inventory. So it's a little bit dark, but I think it looks pretty nice. I hope they lighten it a little bit. I'm also wearing the rewards from the skull slash Haiti Wolf thing. Um, so this is what they look like. The gloves give bonus combat experience and the boots are for skilling experience. Um, let's see. So. They changed that around a bit. They also changed how the stat menu looks and the weapons. One thing that's not very nice about the weapon in interface is that the special attack only changes the text to yellow, which isn't... I mean, it, it's noticeably different, but it's it was better before, I think. I hope they change that so it's more noticeable when you have spec on. But if not, it's we'll get used to it. It's not so bad. They also changed the skill guides, which I don't really use, but I think if I were to use them, these would be much more useful than the previous ones. You can sort them by all sorts of things much more easily. Um, I think it just looks a lot better, and I like how they have just everything else blacked out. That makes it look a lot better, I think. So that's pretty good. Um, they also change the experience counter a lot. It looks a lot like right now, it seems pretty much like it was before, right? Um, but when you're attacking something, it shows the experience as you get it, and you can also toggle it so that that doesn't appear if you don't like it like that. And then, uh, here, let me just kill this guy, okay. Then you can also set it up so that it shows, it has three different counters actually, so I've got the main one on overall experience, and then I put a second one so this will be on my farming experience so I can see how much farming experience I get a day from farming trees and then I can make a third one for I don't know say if I just want to see my dungeoneering experience while I'm training dunge rather than all of it so then it'll show up all three and you can hide any of them and it won't show the experience that you're getting but you can turn it back on so if I don't want it to show dungeon experience, I just turn it off, and then when I go back to dungeon, I can turn it back on. So I think I think that's really cool. Oh, a ruby. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I don't know. The interfaces do take a little bit of getting used to, but I think once we get used to them, they'll look a lot better than the previous ones did.